Okay, so let's see what we're gonna do for these guys again. They're still here. So this is the final part of the night, I believe, is what they said, right? Wait, what's that? Oh, it's one of the photos. This is got it. Well. Another bottle. The Chinatown business. See that? Oh crap. Let's fight these guys quick before they interrupt the story. Then we'll destroy them. Can I give No Sleep Real Lives a pep talk? Uh, I don't know what's going on, why he needs a pep talk. All, all I'll say is I have no idea what's going on, all I'll say is, in life, you may be down, but you're not out. I just understand that life has been down, and if you're at a low low, that basically better times are coming. There have been times in my life when I thought, oh man, things aren't going to get any better, and I was all depressed and stuff about it, but then I stuck in there, and things got a lot better, and I got in there and got through the tough times, you know? This is more Wolverine or Vega, right? You hit the sign. But oh, I got the auto, the auto punt. All right. Oh, where's the new one? Shadow please. Damage an enemy greatly if they're bleeding. So if someone's already bleeding, this does a bonus. Let's see what it looks like. Shadow. Damn. Okay. I've seen Bruce Lee movies. I've seen the usuals, like Animal yeah, Dragon and stuff yeah. like that. But I never never was an aficionado of Bruce Lee or anything like that. Uh, Jasper's fine tonight. I'm sure he's downstairs with Cat. Kasuga, you came. Should we get going? Here we go. Huh. For the longest time, this place was all factories and warehouses. It was pitch dark at night and attracted a bad crowd. But then it all got redeveloped about 10 years ago. We left the wall open for artists all over the world to come and draw what they wanted. And now look. So it's the art wall. Look at that. All the young folks come by to check it out. Thank you, Game Master. Game Master just did a super chat and said he's taking a break from uh, Yakuza 7 to play a little bit of Final Fantasy 7 Remake now. Sounds good. Basically, you're playing the game before this one, and you're playing the game before the new Final Fantasy that comes out later. Dude, all in the, the month. places you can eat too. Game volume's yeah, too loud. The okay. The eateries are a big hit with the tourists. They I just lowered it. Popping up here as the inner city became oversaturated. Hopefully that's better. Sorry. You guys, let me know when the game volume's off. I'll always adjust it. Bro, please stop! I'm begging you. This place is my livelihood. Your livelihood? Huh. Did no one tell you we're the new owners? Oh, God. What is this shit? What's wrong? Is, is there some sort of trouble? Who the hell are you? We're with Palikana on Neighborhood Watch. Palikana? Oh, thank goodness. Please, you have to listen. I've been running this cafe for 10 years now, and I never once have endured such violence. Wow, who are they? Yeah, quit bitching. If you'd have paid your debt, we wouldn't be here. But I didn't even borrow money from you. Oh, we know who you borrowed from. Thing is, this morning, we bought that lender out. So as of now, your debt and this shithole is out. Huh. Even so, you can't just budge in here like this. The previous lender agreed I could pay off my loan in installments. We had a deal. You're a native Hawaiian, aren't you? What difference does that make? Well, cheer up. We're turning this place into a boba shop, and your ass can run the register. The Howleys ought to eat that shit up. Wow. Now let's get rid of it. Was that, was that supposed to be like a racial insult about That's Hawaiians? Enough. Wow. I don't even want to say it if it's an awful word. Aren't you Polycana people supposed to be volunteers? Volunteers should stay the fuck out of business. Strong-arming helpless shopkeepers is hardly what I call business. And I'd like to ask you to leave. And trust me, you'll be hearing from our lawyers. Oh, yeah? How about you scram, or you'll be hearing out your asshole? I'm staying right here. Wow. <laughs> oh, you sure? It's kind of honorable. Then maybe we ought to tear you up first, huh? Threaten me all you want. I'll never fudge. <laughs> Get a load of tough guy here. He thinks he can stand up to us. <laughs> All right. Let's see if you're still standing after that. 
I don't know who you assholes think you are, but anyone who'd hurt an innocent person deserves to get shut well, down. Well, watch. Now we're going to get wrapped up with, like, the mafia here. That's what it seems like. This isn't the what Yakuza. The? It's another group. You another poly kind of prick. <laughs> nope. Just a heathen prick off the streets. And as far as religion goes, I admit, I don't get the appeal. But, Callan, I think you guys do it right. You might even make it seem cool. Kasuga. God damn. Can a man not shake someone down in peace? <laughs> Boys, we're wrecking these bastards. All right, cool fight. So let's see uh, what this ends up being. Chinese? Oh, see, they're Chinese. I wasn't expecting that at all. There's a Chinese gang in this game? Okay. That's kind of interesting. Let's do a combo here. Chinese versus Hawaiians. The mysterious villain. Indeed you are. Oh! Damn, he took two down. That was pretty good. What's he doing? That takes a defensive stance. Follow my lead. Okay, let's do this monkey's strike. Don't get Nothing personal. Oh! Very nice. Alright. And the shadow cleave. Is he bleeding? No. He says this does bonus damage to people who are bleeding, so we don't want that. We probably want the burning arrow area of effect. Let's do that. Boosh! Double kill, baby. Absolutely beautiful double kill. By the way, a few tips are coming in right now during the fight, and I will shout these out when I get a chance, so thank you all, everyone who is contributing. I appreciate that. Does she have anything that guard breaks? Oh, yeah, this guard breaks. Neat. No, it doesn't. Darn, I got a guard break. Cool. Oh, oh, it's a counterattack move. I didn't understand that. I won't do it with the hammer. Does anything guard break? Yes, here we go. Whoops. Nice flip. So now it's all of us against him. We gotta be careful because here you has low HP here. Dreaming arrow. Damage the enemy greatly if the action prompt is successful. Let's try this. Dreaming arrow. No, it's not the fire arrow, it's the dreaming arrow. Okay, I'm up. And I can't heal. Son of a bitch. Okay, hit him with this. Oh. Hit him while he's down. Oh, elbow drop. A nice elbow drop. Very good. Follow my lead. The pistol move that we learned from the other class. Nice. He didn't have any defense against that. Shadow Cleave. Get over there. Great damage. Finish him while he's down. Hit him with that bench. <laughs> there you go. The Jostler. Two months as a member. So shout out to Doom Mama and say birds please thanks. Sure, whatever you say. Thanks for that. Uh, okay, let's shout out these tips as we just leveled up massively. And we'll do this in a second, but let's shout out these tips that just came in. So first of all, I received a $10 tip. Biggest contribution of the night from Bookworm. When the game gets, when the game lets you start keeping skills from other jobs, get Costco's hero job auto revive ASAP. Cheers. Thank you, Bookworm. But I, I already switched to hero class. I guess what you're insinuating is I should eventually go back to hero class to get that, right? All right, well, thank you for that tidbit. I'm sure that's going to save me from a lot of game overs. Thank you, Bookworm. We have another tip that came in. From... Hold on. Load. I got a $4 tip. Someone says, your mic is lovely, but I can't hear mouse shit. Excuse my language. That's great. I don't know what that means. Were you saying that the game was too loud? I did I did adjust the volume. If you're saying the game was too loud, hopefully that fixed it. Because I don't know until you guys tell me. So if that's the case, hopefully now you can hear better. Sorry for that if, the, if it was not balanced. Okay, thank you for the tip. You can't hear mouse shit. 
There you go. <laughs> All right, everyone's ranking up now. Who knew I had it in me? Think I'm getting better at this. Very good rankings there. Uh, uh, fucking son of a. Frick up! Look what you done to my shop! Whoa. Oh, great. <clears throat> that does it. You should have listened while you had the chance. <gasps> Don't do it! Eat lead! He was gonna do it. Huh? What's wrong with him? Goddamn trigger stuck. The hell? Is it jammed? Uh, shit! Cease this at once. Madam Nailey, you see, forbids the use of fire in human What conflicts. the hell? Oh. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you? Now, be good and hand me the gun. Attempting to shoot will only make things worse for you. Who is this? Wow, this is crazy. Get the hell away from me! <laughs> oh, shit! It backfired into his own do? face! Such a pity. Allow me to tend to your wounds. Get the fuck away! He's a monster! I swear he's a goddamn monster! <laughs> That had to be a miracle. <laughs> and I got to bear witness. Is that their leader? Christ truly is blessed by the goddess. Who's this dude? The sage of Palikana I mentioned. That's Bryce Fairchild himself. What the heck is so going on? This guy has powers? What the hell? Okay, this is new to the franchise. This guy has powers. A miracle. Good grace is a miracle. Rejoice. For Madame Nele has extended her divine protection to you and What's your up, establishment. Madame Nele, mahalo yo oi. And you, my child, I trust that you're unharmed. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. What a fascinating story. Now I see why you're all eager to find Akane. For one reason or another. Yeah. We came by because we heard she was the director here. Hello, Musashi97. And that's what makes her disappearance all the more concerning. Without her guidance, I fear this orphanage might have closed its doors long ago. That's why I visit as often as I can. To see how things have developed. Uh, I was wondering something. Why did Kane-san join Polykana in the first place? I believe she left Japan because living there became untenable. One way or another. So, she came to Hawaii to get back in touch with her roots. Right. Captain Sawashiro did mention that. However, she found no support from her relatives. That's when Palakana reached out to her. Shortly after, she was welcomed into the faith. Since then, she's been a model believer. Never have I witnessed such pure, unwavering faith in all my years. Then, was she chosen to be a Haku? Ah, I'm impressed you know that much about us. I did mention to her that she would be the perfect Haku candidate. But you know what she said? She said she'd rather stay at the orphanage until it's her time to go. Hmm. Father Bryce, guess what? I helped make dinner this evening. You did? Then I suppose it's time to dig in. How much would you like? Well, I'm supposed to be on a diet, but today's special. One big helping, please. Yes, sir. How about the diet? It looks pretty Ichiban. skinny to me. If you do find out where Akane is, please let me know as soon as possible. Sure thing. But aren't you usually hanging out on Nele Island? <clears throat> I am, but you can let the staff here know. So they can get in touch. All right. Well, think we ought to get going? 
I think so. Oh, won't you stay and eat with us? It's almost dinner time. You sure? I mean, I am pretty famished. What about you guys? Good idea. That's very kind of you. It's the least I could do. Kasuga, everyone. It's been a pleasure talking with you this evening. Likewise. To know Akane-san found a good place where she belonged, I'm nothing but happy for her. Yes. I'm convinced she felt the same. We're just gonna ignore his magic powers for now, hey, I guess. Where'd right? Shichan run off to? <clears throat> Chitose! Where are you? It's dinner time! She's not over here. Where did she go? What is she doing? Yeah. I've been sticking with Ichiban. Ah, uh, what the hell did I say earlier? Actually, it turned out all right. If anything, that helps me earn their trust even what more. What did so. I say earlier? I said she's not trustworthy. This whole thing's a setup, and I was completely correct earlier. Wow. 100%. Guessed it hey, early. Hey, Chichan! Where you at? I get that. Look, I gotta go. The whole thing was a setup for the Barracudas to begin with. I'm right here, silly. <laughs> Man, I'm starving. <laughs> what are we having? Wow, they are suckers. They are grade A suckers. All right, well, it just sucks that my my guesses earlier were completely true. I don't like being right about stuff like that, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and save. All right, and now we're going to he head into Chapter 6. Chapter 6 is where Dondoka, Dondoko Island is supposed to unlock. So I don't know if we'll get to it tonight or not. We're about to find out. Hop it on a string. <clears throat> is there some reason I have to go outside every time we do this? It's the best safeguard against wiretapping. <laughs> Hanawa. Well. So Akane-san was the director of a Polykana orphanage. Everyone in the organization seemed to know her. Yes, and even the sage himself is concerned for her safety. Interesting. It seems your investigation's going well. <clears throat> if you've got something to say, then say it. Whatever you do, you report it to me. Don't think I didn't hear about your little tussle with the Barracudas. If you already know, then why do I need to report? You might want to rethink your situation a bit. Maybe you don't fear anything seeing as your days are numbered. But you're a spider hanging by a single thread. Steer clear of the flames below. I'll be more careful. <clears throat> Continue tracking the subject then. After all, you've got a lot riding on this. <sighs> also... What? You're not done lecturing? I was going to ask. If you did what you came to do, the woman you loved, Yumi Sun, he did that at the end of the, la the game. I we understand just played, her dream so. was to get married in Hawaii, so you wanted to at least take her ring to the place she longed for. That's why you accepted this mission in the first place. Yeah, then with that out of the way, let's try to focus on the mission, shall we? I certainly hope you can. What are they doing? Just killing time, not doing anything? Sorry for the wait. What did they say? The Daidoji faction. They called, right? Seems like we're the closest to Akane-san. They had no other info on their end. The plan stays the same. We find Akane-san before anyone else, and we protect her. Gotcha. So, no clues from them, then? Nope. All they could do was tell me to stay in line. I'm sure. It's not like you're the easiest guy to keep tabs on. Dumbass? What's that supposed to mean? Come on. You really don't think so? He'd be a good boss, at least. Hey, take it easy, you two. You might hurt my feelings. 
<laughs> yeah, you look real hurt, Kiryu-san. Do I? Hi. It's gotten late, ready to call it a night. Yeah, let's do it. And then uh, we can continue with the story. I guess what I'm saying is you could go out and do more side content now, but yes. we're trying to unlock Dondoko Island, so let's keep moving it. The side content remains available. It's not like the side content is tied to only one chapter, so... <clears throat> <sighs> All right. What's the plan for today? I wonder where you're at right now, Akane-san. About that, I think I might have a good idea. Wait, really? But before I say anything, I need to make sure of something. She knows about you, right, Ichiban? That you're her son? Huh? Uh, yeah. Captain Sawashiro should have told her. Does she know your face then? No, how would she, she know his know face? You're the Ichiban? He never showed her a picture, right? I think so. Otherwise, she'd have no idea I'm actually me. I think that's what's gonna happen. Knowing the captain, he'd be pretty thorough about all that. Got it, got it. Good. You've checked all the boxes. Hey, what's up? Did I hear we got a plan? Kiryu-san, sounds like we're moving. What's going on? Chicha says she might have something. Go on. We all tried to find Akane-san on our own, to the best of our abilities. We tried Akane-san's house and the orphanage she worked at, not to mention the places she did volunteer work for. We even went deep into the heart of a mafia hangout, right? Ah, uh, you know, when you say it like that, I guess we've done some pretty crazy things. Right. Unfortunately, none of that has helped us find Akane-san. Yeah. Even the Daidoji faction hasn't found any more clues. It means one thing. We're running out of options. Finding her on our own is looking a lot less likely. Yeah, I guess so. Doesn't that also mean we've hit a dead end, then? Hang on. There's more to it. Our goal up to now has been simple. Find Akane-san. But what if she was the one who found us? Get Akane-san to find us? Okay. How are we gonna do that? That's where he comes in. We put Ichiban in the spotlight. Slap a video on the internet. Oh, boy. We'll make a video that catches as many eyes as possible. <clears throat> Show the world that Ichiban Kasuga's out there. All of Hawaii's gonna know his name. Just wait. All right. Sure. Not on board? No, it's a good idea. I mean, really, it is. But I don't know if you heard. Ichiban went through some pretty awful shit in Japan, thanks to a video. The net chewed him up, spit him out. They already hate him. I mean, I doubt he'd want to jump back in. Well, you've got a point, I guess. What'll it be, Kasuga? Hey, Tomi, as far as gangs around here go, are the Barracudas the only ones in charge? Hmm? Why do you ask? And no, they're just a part of it. They only run District 5 and their counterfeit on. Honolulu is home to all kinds of Of course. Is a Chinese group it's similar, if not bigger. To be fought. All right. Huh? Well, I think it's a great idea, Chichan. Believe it or not, I pulled a similar thing on TV a few years back. He interrupted a live campaign speech, of all things. True story. Wait, you really did that? Well, it was kind of my only option at the time. That was the first game. Anyway, Tommy, thanks for looking out. I got no issue making a video. Oh, all right. As long as you're cool with it. That settles it then. Now, if I just knew where to start. Jitose, are you good with this stuff? Leave it to me. In fact, I'll be the director. You sure about that? Okay. Well, I guess I'll come up with a cool script then. Ichiban, there's a lot you want to say, right? Might be tough to improv it. Yeah. Hmm. I'll get some cue cards ready. <laughs> what the hell? Let's go for a million views. Maybe we even get one of those gold plaques, huh? This is still about Ichiban, right? Talking about YouTube gold no, plaques. I don't know much myself, but uh. it sounds fun. Is there anything I can do? Oh, no, no. You just take it easy, Kiryu-san. We'll handle all the trivial stuff. I may be dying, but I'm not dead yet. 
These bones still have some life in them, all things considered. Well, um, yeah, then, then you can... Oh, okay, here you son. I know just the thing. I'm serious. If you're not the man for the job, then no one is. Okay, what's he gonna do? What the? Get the mic. The video's nothing without sound. Kiryu-san, you're the backbone of this whole the thing. The sound guy. So this is what you call a shotgun mic. <laughs> it's a good, strong name. No holding back now, Kasuga. I'll spread your voice to the world. Haha, <laughs> you got it. Kiryu-san's surprisingly playful, isn't he? Ah, those eyes are free. He holds that mic like he's staring down a wild beast. What the hell? Oh ah, well, at least we know he's fully invested. Right, let's do it. What is this gonna be about? Okay, we're good, Ichiban. I'm already rolling the camera, so go ahead and start talking. All right, the text size is good on these, right? Either way, this won't mean much if we don't catch Akane-san's eye. She's gotta know her son's out there looking for her. Do whatever you can to make that clear. Yep, we can't lose that. And not only are we uploading this to a fresh channel, but we're trying to make it explode. The bar is ludicrously high here. But God only knows if we'll even come close. We need something that'll make an impact. Something to make the thumbnail pop, you know? We want an impact, huh? There's gotta be something. Oh! Ah, but should I? <laughs> huh? What's wrong? Think of something good? Well, I did, but I'm not too sure about it. If you think it's good, then what's stopping you? They're not that rare in Hawaii. I doubt you'll scare anybody. Here you, son, how'd you know? Let's just call it a hunch. Besides, that's how I figured out you were here. It's pretty hard to miss. Oh, yeah? Then let's go for it. Uh. Hey, time out. Huh? You two have some kind of secret language or something? Oh, spill the beans. Uh, my bad. Here, let me show you what we mean. Feast your eyes. Oh, his back <laughs> tattoo. <gasps> uh, normally, I'd keep this thing under wraps, but if it helps us get closer to uh, Akane Sock, okay. it's worth it. Okay. So. Think this will make enough waves? <laughs> I think the crowd says it all. This thing's gonna make a tsunami. <laughs> all right, then keep that camera rolling. I don't know why just a back tattoo would create a tsunami of views on YouTube, but okay. If you say so. <clears throat> Allow me to introduce myself. I come from Kamrocho. Some would call it the armpit of Tokyo, Japan. Born and raised in the sons he of doing? an inner city soap land, the name's Ichiban Kasuga. What is he doing? Some have even called me the hero. <laughs> you think he's Yoko a theater Ma. actor or something? Separated from my mother at birth, I am now on a quest. For <laughs> the and so I've traveled what is he land doing? and sea, only to find myself right here in Honolulu City. Oh my city. God, Mom. If you're out there, I just want to say I love you. And to everyone else, aloha! <laughs> He's a natural born showman. Hey, don't just straight up ignore the cue cards. Dude, I put my heart into these. <laughs> it's fine. This is way better material. I'm going to assume no. that mic is a wireless mic because it's not plugged into the camera. So I don't know where the audio is going. <laughs> As this dragonfish on my back implies, I'm a former but forever rambling Yakuza. So while I search for my dear old mom, I'll be showing you all the sights this island has to offer. I call it Yakuza Kahuna Hawaiian Style. So he's going to basically do a Hawaiian tourism channel yes, on YouTube. Yes, sir. From waddling around a Kamrocho soapland, I later grew up to have my own life in a jean show. But there was something on my mind, so I left Japan, landed here just the other day, and let me tell you, being my first time overseas, a whole bunch of crazy stuff's gone down. For example, 
right when I got off the plane, I had the pleasure of being robbed at gunpoint. Gunpoint, huh? And point at him. You heard that right. By him. And it was my boy. <laughs> That's Sal right. Here. Armed robbery right Dude, here. What the hell? This is a terrible intro. He was fluent in Japanese, so I picked his taxi. <laughs> Who'd have guessed he was a small time <clears throat> crook? As you can see, however, we have quickly become the best of friends. Hawaii freaking rules. Even the crooks are laid back. Talk about island style. And the robbery wasn't the last of my Hawaiian hurdles. Soon after that, I got jacked and wound up butt naked on the beach. <laughs> that didn't stop Ichiban Kasuga. No, I'm back in action. I came here for some big new adventures. Hawaii called me, and boy, did I answer. And cut. Man, did you have to call me out like that? You were way softer on Chitose. Yeah, my bad. Uh, but she has got that thing. You don't want her family finding out, right? Sheesh. <sighs> Only you thought that way about me. Eh, whatever. A few hot topics, you get the people buzzing at least. Also, holy crap, Ichiban. Since when were you that articulate? <laughs> <laughs> I, I learned from experience. They used to have me host the family banquets. <laughs> Guess it pays to work hard while you're young. <laughs> Someone disappears anyway, behind her. Let's hit the street. Zoop fades Second out. Shots of Kasuga in the places <clears throat> that really scream Hawaii. There is another one. Sounds good. People just phasing okay, out of existence. Kasuga clan, let's get filming. It's pretty brutal. You wander on camera during a cutscene. You're just erased from the game. Whoops. Wrong, wrong turn. All right, that should be more than enough material. Great. All right, you got your first ten Throw views. Congrats. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> You're gonna have to edit it first. We want it to go viral, <clears throat> so it's gotta be the best it can be. You'll help me out, won't you, Tommy? Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it finally feels like I'm actually in Hawaii now. I mean, seriously. It's been trouble this, trouble that, back to back. <laughs> I guess that's true. But it's been fun on my side, too. Thanks, Kaska. Ah, you ask me, oh. this is just the beginning. Bond level up. I'm sure there'll be even <clears throat> more fun down the line. We're in Hawaii, after all. Japan's always talking about this place. We ought to enjoy every second, Kiryu-san. Aren't you forgetting why you came here? Not one bit. <laughs> Editing it all together is going to take some time, so you two can hang back until then. Sure. If it's going to take a while, I'll go rest up at the hotel. Yeah, maybe I'll go swimming since we're near the beach and all. Uh, maybe this Roger is how it ends up at the island. See you soon. Seems like it. So he separates from the group, and this is how he gets zipped away to the island, and this is how the island unlocks, I bet. Okay. Cool. Huh? What's going on? A turtle. It's huge. <laughs> oh, would you look at that? Never thought I'd see the day. No shit. They're so rare, they got all kinds of laws protecting them. Find a buyer, though. You're swimming in it. You don't say. Lucky us. Let's hurry up and back it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's... Kidnap the endangered creatures. Sounds like a good idea. What the hell are you doing? The fuck you care? What, you after the stupid thing too? Too bad. This one's ours. I'm not after Jack, pal. Still, this turtle, you said it's protected, right? Sounds to me like you should leave it alone. Hey, piss off. This is my pet. See? Look how happy it is. Right. Believe me, I'm looking. And who asked you? Hey, let's drown this dumbass! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Let's get him! The battle is on! Cool! NFL Kasuga. So I just got a new one, Illegal Spearing, this right? Is gonna hurt. This is the one that's in a, a straight line. Can I hit like three of them? Two of them at least, I hope? Let's try it. Oh, you yeah. Nice! Oh, killed that one. Hit him right to the freaking stand. Triple parry. Beautiful. If 
Here we go. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn. We got one. Oh. Where'd the road code come from? Why is there a road code on the beach in the sand? <laughs> Weird. Alright. How much cash? Shit, I want to see how much cash I had. I missed it. I need 1800 to get the final two jobs that I can get for now. Too strong. What a bunch of jerks. <laughs> All good there, little fella? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you for saving me. What? Hey, don't mention it. The turtle talks? Care now, right? <clears throat> Wait, what? Did that thing just talk? Oh, that wasn't the turtle. That was me. <laughs> huh? Oh, Jesus Christ! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> what the? Turtle <laughs> 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 Who are you calling a demon? <clears throat> <laughs> oh yeah. Well, oh. aren't I? Oh. Yeah, sure. Whatever, man. You, <laughs> you can't even stand up. <clears throat> hey, hey, watch your. Uh, oh well, he'll live. <laughs> right then. Guess we'll take him to the island. Wow. Honest okay then. Turtle demon. Oh, that's just plain rude. Wouldn't you say, Kamakichi? Kamakichi is the name of the turtle. I'm being told by Dark Gaming that Dondoko mascots are actually real mascots from Japanese TV shows, but they're appearing as cameo characters in the game. That's interesting. I had no idea that they were real mascots. By the way, I should say shout out to the Jostler. The Jostler 17 minutes ago uh, did a super chat, and literally we've had 20 minutes of cutscenes, so I haven't had a chance to even say a word about it. So thank you to the Jostler for the super chat. And I apologize I didn't shout it out right away because... I didn't want to interrupt the cutscene. You know, the narrative is a major part of the game. I got to focus on it. And it's like, geez, will I ever get a, a chance to break here? So there you go. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Derek, have a good night. See you later. Uh, huh? oh, sheesh. Must have hit my head. What the, <laughs> the heck is this place? It look, looks like oh, oh, overcome with evil away, force. Golly. Glad to see it. Yeah, look. Huh? Not again. Oh my god, that's even worse. <laughs> Yo, that's that's twice as bad on the right hand side. The googly eyes. <laughs> Big googly eyes. What the fuck? Sesame Street on fucking crack, man. Wrong again, friend. <laughs> my name's Gachapine. And this here is Muku. Guilty as charged. Now that I heard you saved my pals Kamakichi and Gacha. Wow. We owe you big time for that. Oh, uh, uh don't mention it. Gacha Peen and Muku, right? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. <laughs> nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga? Wow, what a name. Uh, so this place yours? This is Don Doko Island. Don Don Doko, not Don Doko. Don Doko. Okay. Resort paradise. You say resort? That's right. And Muko and I, in all our splendor, are its very own mascots. Oh yeah, the kids just love us. Uh, at least they did. <laughs> the island at rock bottom. Wow. Sure, sure, okay. <clears throat> so you're mascots. Oh, sorry to freak and all you monsters and stuff. It was all so sudden. You just kind of surprised me. But, uh, is this really a resort? We're the only ones here, and what's up with all the trash? Aww. Oh, you had to mention it. <laughs> huh? My bad? Did I, um, uh, say something wrong? There's a reason this place is empty. I'll give you two words. Illegal dumping. Who are you? Name's Matayoshi. I'm the owner of Dondoko Island. I'm told you rescued my friend here. Thanks for that, Kasuka-san. Oh, wow. So this whole place is yours? Well, nice to meet you. 
Believe it or not, this island used to be a resort. Truly. Fun sights and sounds at every turn. Hmm. We also had guests at every turn. So much good business, even the residents enjoyed having them here. But you see, at some point, a no-good waste disposal <laughs> group called the Washbucklers showed up. Started Wash illegally bucklers. dumping on our island. Wow. That's what they're you called. Mean, like trash? See, I've watched I watched my wife do some of the gameplay of this. I didn't see this intro at all. I only saw her do some of the like the day-to-day -day gameplay. I didn't know that they were called the washbucklers. I, I thought they were just like invaders or pirates or something. Jeez. What else? From shore to shore, they've littered the place. <clears throat> we're talking high-cost refuse, too. And pollution's only happened <clears throat> ever since we spoke up. The place is a mess. From there, they started destroying everything. Worse! They even started harassing the guests! Really bad guys doing really bad things! After that, we got less and less visitors. Eventually, they just stopped coming. They aren't the only ones missing either, sad to say. All the residents up in Skedaddle, too. With them gone, there's practically no one left. In fact, it's a ghost town. These days, it'd be a miracle if guests showed up. Hmm. It was one turn after another, and now it's just us three. I tell you, this rock has really hit rock bottom. Oh, <laughs> poor turtle. Ah, I forgot about you, Kamikichi. Sorry about that. That's awful. These guys must be some real creeps. Indeed. Still, we haven't given up just yet. I think if we stay the course, we'll get back on track and return Don Doko Island to Okay, it's, I've been saying Don Doko the whole time. It's As you Don can guess, Doko. it's why we've all stuck around. <sighs> then again, maybe we're too far gone. Those mongrels keep dumping and we just can't seem to keep up. Honestly, maybe it's time. We might just have to pack up and say farewell. Don't say that, Mata yoshi -san. <laughs> That's right! We're the island's mascots, after all. If we lose this place, we really oh, won't have oh, much else. Oh, 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 What a pose. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Didn't mean to get all gloomy doomy on ya. Oh, we should brighten things up. Yes, at least for today. That's right. You're our first guest in a long time. You know what that means. It's time to party! <laughs> we don't have much to offer, but since it's getting dark, you ought to stay the night. Let loose a little, Kasuga-san. Sure, thanks. We'll make it a night to remember! Oh, I even found these wild mushrooms nearby. Oh, let's just eat wild Look mushrooms off the ground. Party. That sounds safe. A mushroom party! Yay! Wow. A mushroom party. Oh, good night, Kathleen. Yes, I conked out after the party. What a night. Oh, crap. What's going on with Chi-Chan and them? Are they waiting on me? I better give them a call. Oh, hey, Jabon. What's up? Chi-Chan. Sorry, a lot's happened. And long story short, I'm over at a resort called Dondoko Island right now. Don... Dondo what? You're not making any sense. I know. I just wanted to give you a heads up that it's going to take me some time to get back. Oh, okay, no worries. I'm going to need a few more days myself to finish editing the video. You are? I didn't think it would take that long. Because <laughs> it wouldn't. <laughs> days to edit the video? What are they putting in this thing? Uh, <clears throat> I mean, we want the video to make make it to take over the internet. We're going to need some damn good editing to spruce it up and sell it. Don't feel bad about taking this time to kick back and relax on what was it called? Dune Doko Island? <laughs> What are you guys doing? You're spamming so many emotes, you're getting timed out by the bot. Be careful. Don't get timed out by the bot because you're spamming the silly emotes. Okay. I'll reach out once I'm done. Gotcha. I'll leave it in your hands then. No pressure. Guess you won't be finished for a few more days. I'll just take it easy and look around this island for now. All right. I've seen my wife do some of this, but I've never wandered it myself. This place is seriously a dump. Makes a lot more sense now, but I, I feel bad for them. For the island, too. I do want to repay them for letting me stay. Maybe I can do something about the trash. All right. So this is very reminiscent of Disney Dreamlight Valley, where you run around and you know how all the the, 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 the like the fog and tentacles or, or thorns or whatever it is is taking over the island. You have to like destroy it all. So it's basically what it is. It's just the piles of trash in this game. 
Where do I start? I never handled garbage like this before. I don't want to make things worse. Heh. <laughs> Might not be the way, but hey, it's my way. So, swing the bat with X, hold for a sweeping strike. You hope press down to pull out the bat. Okay. Hold X to unleash a sweeping strike in front of you. It's perfect for clearing heaps of junk and gathering resources all in one swing. So here we go. Ready? Take them all out at once. That takes a long time to charge it. What happened? I'm frozen. What? I didn't clear the whole thing. That's bullshit. Spot, <laughs> Good morning, Kasuga-san. Wow! Just look at this place! Did you clean this all by yourself? Yeah, I just wanted to thank you for yesterday. Not every day I get the resort treatment. At least I can do. Hey, hey! Talk about space! Hey, hey! What? How did you get rid of the trash? <laughs> yeah, I wasn't too sure what to do. I pulled this out of my ass! Smashed it with this! <laughs> You're a wild man! <laughs> Maybe a little, huh? Amazing. With you around, Kasuga-san, we just might set things right. <laughs> well, well. Ain't this a sight. So, listen to this. So you Pirate. got rid of our little gifts, did you? What's wrong? Not up to snuff? Hey, these the guys you were talking about? You guessed it. They're the ones responsible for this mess. I like their shirts. Waste Everyone's wearing nice tropical shirts in this. The washbucklers. That guy there, that's their boss, Fukuyama. It kind of looks like Rolento on the right. Dread Pirate Hook. Dread Our Pirate Hook. Come on, Mateoshi. Deviance is a little strong, don't you think? Unless you want to get smacked around again. Uh. Go on, pick a pile. Uh -uh. I'm sure you'll fit right in. <laughs> Huh? Who's this loser? Out of the way! I happen to be a guest here, and I gotta be honest with you, pal. You're really killing my vacation time. Ha! Ah, you're staying in this trash heap! <laughs> what are you, stupid? This place is a shite hole. A shite hole? One of that, I mean, really, what is he, Irish it. now? We're doing it a favor! In yeah, wait a minute. His, his accent is like Irish. Listen to it. What? He's an Irish pirate. And I think we ought to be rewarded <laughs> for it. Eh? An Irish pirate. That's oh. a mighty, mighty talk. Only hole I see is your mouth. Excuse me. This island you're spitting on's their treasure. And I'm ready to kick your asses clean off of it. Ah, says the lone wolf. All right, mates. You know the drill. Oh, it's a fight? It's composted time. Okay. After equipping your bat, press X to attack wash bucklers. Enemy attacks can be dodged with right trigger. Hold X to perform that sweeping strike, which is useful in battling multiple enemies at once. Okay. <clears throat> I have three hearts. Let's do it. Ow. Clean that Knock shit. it off! Hey, stop! <laughs> he went ragged out. Look. Where is he? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> the combat's pretty bad. That's funny. <laughs> You're pretty good. Wow, he's strong. All right, fine. I'll let you off the hook today. But know this. You and Matayoshi. This whole rock, your days are numbered. Okay. Why don't we just beat them all right now? Just beat the shit out of them with the bat now and send them for packing and it's the end of the island. You're done. Thank you so Congrats. much, Kasuga-san. Seems you've saved me once again. Be straight with me. Do they always do this? Yes, though I'm <clears throat> used to it now. I tell you, Kasuga-san. They're assholes. If only I was as strong as you. Maybe then I'd protect myself. Protect this island. <sighs> ah, sorry. Guess I dampened the mood again. 
For all it means to us, this island really isn't much. You'll be going home soon, I take it. If so, allow me to see you off. Actually, I'm gonna stick around. <laughs> huh? Wow, I kinda picked a fight, you know? Those feathers look pretty ruffled. If I had to guess, they'll be back. And knowing that, I'll be here to stop them. Hey, now, last thing you need to do is feel responsible. Besides, it's like I said, there's nothing left. What's there to save? Well, here's a thought. Why not just build stuff? What? <laughs> you said what? so yesterday, right? This place is supposed to be a resort. So, first, we gotta get rid of the trash. From there, get some fun facilities or whatever up and running. And finally, you crawl your way back up. All right. Think about it. There's nowhere to go but up. Do, 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 From what do, I've do. seen, this place is more than capable. I got no patience for pirates. And besides, I really like it here. So how about it? We'll crawl back up together. Kasugasa. We will. <clears throat> Thank you so much. Wow. And in reality, this is like the best thing in the Kasugasa. game to do for, for like money besides the optional dungeons. If you do this, you get insane amounts of rewards, like hundreds of thousands of dollars in rewards. So it's totally worth doing. Son, the wild man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say, wilder than wild, huh? I wonder what these guys are mascots from in Japan. What do, what do they actually represent? Like what companies? All right, so I did say I'd help restore the place, but uh, you guys got some, some kind of goal in mind. A goal, you say? Yeah, I think it'd be easier to go about things if you guys had a clear-cut vision, you know, rather than just trying to restore things all nilly-willy. Oh, I see. Actually, there's this old dream of mine. What about this? <clears throat> Ultimate challenge, five stars. Shoot for the stars. Get funding to build the five-star resort of your dreams. What's this all about? See, a government-backed edge, uh, I said edge, a government-backed group called the Resorts and Tourism Association is running this here campaign. As long as you meet your criteria, the association will grant us some funding. Wow. Damn, and that's basically what you need right now, isn't it? So what do we got to do? Well, quite a few things, actually, but the two main criteria are popularity and satisfaction. What's that mean for us? Yes. Well, popularity is pretty straightforward. Get people to like the island. The more popular that it gets, the more visitors we'll receive. And if our island's popular enough with folks, then we'll be able to get our name out there. <clears throat> Satisfaction is a qu quantitative measure that represents how pleased the guests are with the island. We can build facilities or furnish the island to improve overall satisfaction. If it's too low, there's no way that we'd be acknowledged by the association. Jade says, it's like Godzilla and Kong. <laughs> that would be pretty something. Just like knock off Godzilla and Kong. <clears throat> In short, if both popularity and satisfaction are high enough, we can pass the evaluation and receive funding. So that's how this all works. I had no clue. The association rates resorts anywhere from one to five stars, five stars being the highest rating a resort can earn. And someday I'd love for Don, uh, Dondoko Island to be a five star resort as well. <laughs> that sounds doable. We just gotta work hard and aim for five stars. So, uh, how many stars do you guys have right now? Zero, naturally. We haven't even been acknowledged yet. <sighs> yeah, should have figured. Well, let's try aiming for one star for now. What's it gonna take to get there? Hmm, well, this much, I wager. <clears throat> so, 1,000 satisfaction, 700 popularity, clear out the entrance, clear out the great tree. When my wife finished it, okay, it was like, I know it was like 13,000 popularity, something, and it was like 42,000 satisfaction. So, on average, people who are doing this say it takes around 15 hours to finish it. If you know what you're doing and you kind of like cheat to use a guide instead of just doing it naturally, you can do it in around 10 if you speed run it. And that's what a lot of people are doing. They're going online reading guides and just like turboing through this mode to get the rewards and put it into their playthrough. For me, I want to do this with my wife. So what we're going to do is the intro. And then later this week, I'm actually going to have a night stream with Kat. She's going to come in here. She's done it before. And we're going to set up the island together and do all our decisions together of what we want to do. Um, so it'll be nice. It'll actually be our first ever co-op real content that we're doing here on my channel. And uh, I'm excited for it because it was nice. She loved doing it. 
when she did it herself, and now we're gonna do it differently than hers. Hers, she went for like this, these different designs. We're gonna ignore that we're gonna do different designs and things for our island that we're gonna do together. So it should be pretty fun. <clears throat> Geek General says the kids show is called Hirake Honkiki, and it's on Fuji TV. That red dude is supposed to be a Yeti. Oh, he's a Yeti, okay. All right, time for a boost in popularity and satisfaction. One star rating, here we come. Mm. Yay, Don, Don Doko a go go. If we want to gain popularity and raise satisfaction, we just have to build things and install them, right? Right, but there's not much on this island aside from trash and the like, so I don't even have the money or a girlfriend. <laughs> That's totally irrelevant. Ugh. We don't even have money to buy furnishing. We'll just have to make it ourselves. There's plenty of wood and stone, so why not use them as materials to craft something new? Oh yeah, speaking of materials, when I was cleaning up the trash and breaking it down, I found parts that could come in handy. Maybe we'll just make more things with these too. <laughs> We're using trash as crafting materials to make new furnishing. How eco-friendly, so sustainable. Sounds feasible to me. I'm big on DIY myself, you know, let's do it. Cool, I'll go gather materials then. The beach is over there and has some things that can be used as raw materials. Follow me, I'll show you. All right. What they need to do is clean up the stink. See these big purple stinky clouds? They gotta clean those up. Let's start with the basics, wood and stone. The ones that look like this can be broken with a bat. Find stones and trees in the area and break them down, then bring back five wood logs and five stones. In the meanwhile, I'll prep what we need to get started with DIY. Once you've done gathering materials, see me on DIY, <laughs> the DIY stand. Find me a girlfriend while you're at it. Just kidding, wow. Wow. Okay. The googly eyes look even more disturbing when you see them from the side. They're like sticking out of the body. Uh, with your trusty bat, you can smash junk piles, trees, and rocks to gather resources for your DIYs. Collect cloth, iron, plastic, glass, and semiconductors from junk piles and naturally collect wood and tree from trees and stones from rocks. Remember to grab these resources when they crop up every day. So, here we are. Oh, look at that in the background. It's like a, it's, the whole island's like a giant trash dump, like a trash heap. Yuck, it's like stinky piles. Ugh. All right, well, I guess they want us to, to knock some stuff down here, so we might as well. Hey! I, I walked headfirst into that tree, by the way. How exciting. So I'm assuming this is just the, the tutorial, right? Since we're limited in what we can do. I think I collected enough to get started. Let's head back to matayoshi san There you go. The thing is, this rejuvenates every day. What happens is it's just like it is in Animal Crossing or Disney Dreamlight Valley where in one given day, there's a certain amount of resources you can harvest, but then you have to have it cycle to another day, and then everything kind of respawns, and you can do it all over again. And certain days, there's different things. Like, there's creatures you can catch. Let's see that butterfly. We'll eventually be able to catch that bug. We'll be able to, to do different things in the environment. So... It's kind of cool in that regard. If you like those kind of relaxing games, that's exactly the kind of vibe this gives you. And we're going to have nice streams where, you know, we'll be talking and interacting with Cat here. And Cat's going to help us to do this island together. Which is going to be really nice to have that environment instead of it just having her on stream for like Q&A. And not to say that we won't. I'm sure we'll talk with you guys and answer questions and stuff. But to actually have the game to play at the same time should be pretty neat. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, later this week on Wednesday, we're going to do it for the first time. Okay. Uh, you got Persona 3 on Xbox Game Pass. You're playing it. Sounds good. No secret lies. Okay. Where are we going here? Oh, we have a mini-map. See the mini-map there? So you follow the mini-map up to the green spot. This way. Look at all that trash. We gotta clear it out later. But for now, they just want us to go here. Basically, I just want to get the tutorial. Oh, look at this guy. Ah, looks like a jumping bean. He goes, ba-doop, ba-doop, look, ba-doop, ba-doop, ba -doop. <laughs> I want to catch him. He wiggles around. He has a little boop, ba-doop, ba-doop. Don't want to squish him, though. <clears throat> okay. There you are, Kasuka-san. Did you find any potential girlfriends? <sighs> uh, how about a rock? I've gathered plenty of materials. Thank you so much. Excellent. I finished peppering, uh, pe peppering, preparing everything on my end, so let's get to DIY. All right. I'm assuming this is your crafting bench where you make stuff. Uh, I've never done it before, though. Not a problem. It's simple. Better to get some hands-on experience than watch and learn, I say. First, let's try making something. 
You can use the materials you collect to create DIY furnishings. By creating your own furniture, you can then gain building experience, which improves your building talent. More building experience can be gained when making a new furnishing item for the first time. The greater your building talent, the more types of DIY furnishings you'll be able to create. In other words, as long as you keep working, you can learn how to make new things in the future. Okay. So, a squat toilet. Uh, the first thing available to make is a toilet. I will make a floor cushion. Sorry for the belch, by the way. Excuse me. There it is. Wow, that's Obviously, the worst floor I cushion I've ever seen. Look how flat it is. There can't be any kind of real cushioning in that thing. <clears throat> like this? Perfect. I can't believe this is the first time that you've ever done DIY. You're quite skilled with your hands, Kasuga-san. Now, let's install your creation on the island, Kasuga-san. It can be relocated or removed later. Let's not worry too much about where to put it for now. And just place it in that spacious area. Got it. So they want me to put a sit-down cushion in the middle of an open grass area. <laughs> Try placing it around here. So the Y button or the back button turns into edit mode. Furnishings come in following categories. Furniture can be placed outdoors or indoors. Outdoor furniture is specific for outdoors like large building or large items. Rugs can only be put... No, they can be placed both. Furniture can be put on top of a rug. Wall hangings can be displayed on indoor walls only. Lodging and facilities can only be placed outdoors. Okay. So. Wait, now I wasn't I wasn't even ready and they just went right into the mode. So I guess we do bag. Okay. So let's just put it right here because we're going to end up moving it anyway. There you go. Well, that was exciting. Wow. Oh. I think I'm starting to get it now. If you craft items and place them somewhere, the guests will find the island more satisfying. And if it's satisfying, then it'll be more popular. Exactly. The more things we have to offer, then the more satisfying and popular the island will be. But we're going to have to need a lot more materials. Once we meet the criteria for satisfaction and popularity, the association will send in someone from the resort review board and conduct an evaluation. <clears throat> and if we pass, we'll rank up from no stars to a one star resort. All right. Here are the specific conditions. The review board's laid out for a one-star resort. We already saw this. <laughs> Clearing out an area, what does that mean? What it sounds like, you clear an area of trash and debris so that people can walk around. For example, see all the garbage over there in that area? Well, it's been neglected for so long, it's contaminated with soil, and it smells like rock. We can't get anything in there as it stands, so the only thing we can do is slowly clear trash from the area and have construction work clear the soil. Once the site's cleared, then we can place things there and use it however we like. And it makes sense, but who's going to do all the construction work? Well, a craftsman named Kenzo used to live here, but he left the moment that he was out of a job. So I'll have to reach out to him and ask if he can come back. But Kenzo-san goes where the money is, so he'll need to have a hefty lump sum prepared. Mm. It all comes back to money, huh? Well, I guess I could help pay out of my pocket. Wait one second. Are you talking about dollars, yen, some virtual coin? No. The only currency accepted here is Doko Bucks. Mm. Is that real money? As real as it gets, like M. Bison dollars, right? Bisonopolis dollars. It's the official currency of Dondoko Island, but I suppose you don't have any on you, do you, Kasuga-san? Take this. Nothing good about being broke. 10,000 Doko Bucks. <clears throat> as long as you have the Doko Bucks, you can go to Kenzo-san with requests or buy any materials of furniture that you may need for my shop, Mata Yoshia. I've had a daily clearance section up there, so swing by and check it out every day for a new deal. So, Mata Yoshia is Dondoko Island's very own general store, and you can buy furnishings and sell items there. Furniture that you made before can then be purchased there as well, and there's special furnishings you can buy. In the Daily Furniture Corner, there's a selection of furnishers, uh, furnishings that are out for sale at discounted prices. As the island develops, you can unlock special facilities like a chicken coop, exclusive Matayoshia Mata furnishings. Once you place these facilities, you can then collect items from these areas, which appear near Matayoshia the next day. Be sure to take advantage of facilities when your island can be everything that it can be. As nice as it would be to have everything for free, that's just going to be the island's economy, leave the island's economy in shambles. Hey, no worries, I get it. I can earn the money myself, but uh, how exactly can I do that? Get more doko bucks or whatever? The best way is to assist with Dome Doko dailies, everyday tasks to be completed on the island, as well as the collection of requests that they keep in the suggestion box. In return for completing requests, the island's rewarded with a large amount of doko bucks. Think of it like some kind of part-time job. To take uh, any transaction on Do Don Doko Island, you need the island's currency, Doko Bucks. 
do dailies, do the suggestion box. They just said this. This is a dailies update every day. Suggestion box contains missions accomplished in stages. We will fulfill a sender's request. This can be checked in the Dondoko Island menu by pressing start. You can also take Doko bucks from selling unwanted furnishings or specialties through Mata Yoshia's buyback service. What are those? Specialties, I mean. Anything that you can harvest or collect on the island, like mushrooms, shellfish, and even fish and insects. They can all be sold in exchange for Doko bucks. If you manage to collect a lot of specialties, then we'll start to become famous. All you know what that means? It means a rise of popularity, so try collecting them all. You can find a record of the specialties you discover on Dondoko Island, like shells, mushrooms, or fish bugs, and the Dokopedia. Note that as you fill it out, the specialties gain more popularity, raising both their renown and selling value. This, of course, will bring Dondoko Island fame and recognition. Sounds fun, actually. Bug catching and fishing reminds me of my childhood. I bet that there's all sorts of things to collect, considering all the nature on this island. Then I hope that you enjoy yourself. Here, they're a bit of a worn out, but I know you got a harpoon for fishing and your very own bug net. Try swapping out your bat to use them. So we have a harpoon and a bug net now. And it says you press left to do fishing at fishing spots. Press right to try to catch bugs. Okay. I just have to get rid of garbage, gather materials, collect all kinds of specialties. A pleasure to work with you, Kasuka-san. So it's, it's a lot of busy work. Like, no, make no bones about it. It's a lot, a lot, a lot of busy work. That's the whole point of the island. What I think we should probably do <clears throat> is for tonight, we should adjourn. Because this is still the introduction. This isn't really the island. Like, you can't even leave now, even if you want it. So what we need to do next time around, which is going to be Tuesday night, we're going to do the intro to Dondoko Island. Complete the intro, which it's not that long from what I'm going to understand. What we're going to do is we're going to clear out the area and just do some of this gathering. And you basically hit one star, which is simple to do. And then you can come back whenever you want and you can continue on with it. So I feel, I mean, we're out of time for tonight. So definitely this is something we should save and do again on this second stream. That's why I had so many streams of this game this week. Because I knew all these things leading up to this was going to take a long time. So what we can do now is next time around, get through the intro. And then probably once the intro is done, leave. Do some other stuff. And then come back on Wednesday night when we're going to do the first ever co-op stream with my wife. Okay? So I hope that sounds good to everyone. Uh, both here live on stream or those also watching on demand. Uh, I hope you'll come back. If you want to know, the next stream of this will be Tuesday night, but the first ever co-op stream with my wife is going to be Wednesday night. Actually, Valentine's Day, incidentally, this year. So that's going to be sweet. So I hope people will come for that and hang out with us because we'll have a cool conversation with the chat. We're going to be building the island together. It's going to be a good time, you know? Uh, and then we'll see how that goes and go from there. I'm, we're considering, depending on how it goes, if it goes well and people show up and like it, we would consider doing it up to twice a week. Because Dondoko Island, or Dondoko Island, as I said, uh, takes around 15 hours to beat. But if you know what you're doing can be a little shorter. Being that we're going to be interacting and talking with you guys, probably it's going to take longer. But the thing is, we want to make progress. It, you earn a lot of currency and stuff by completing the star ratings in Dondoko Island. And that translates into your main game. I need those resources or else I'm going to actually be short on cash and stuff playing the rest of the game. So I figure if we do that like twice a week and I do the real game twice a week, right? That'd be perfect. A good balance of earning enough and putting that into the main game and then earning more and putting it into the main game. But we got to see how it goes. You know, if people don't like it as much or whatever, then we'll probably do it once a week. And then, of course, it's just going to take longer and there's not much you can do about that, you know. But let's see how it goes. So next time around... In Like a Dragon Infinite Wealth, we beat the intro, we go back to Hawaii, and basically do a little bit more stuff, and then the next time after that, it's going to be Kat and I doing co-op, actually advancing the island together, okay? All right, great progress today. I mean, we, we used all these new jobs, right? We have enough now to actually go back, and we're going to buy more jobs when we return back to Hawaii. Uh, great progress here. Unlock Dondoko, finally. And I'm excited. For the next stream and of course for the first co-op stream coming up this week so thank you guys for being patient i know this week was a lot of kind of grindy style stuff to get here but now that we're here the game is really opening up to its full potential of everything that you can do and i'm excited for more so i hope that you guys will come back and join us for that okay thank you all great stream tonight great session thanks for watching on demand as well and i will see you next time for more like a dragon the dondoko intro cool